Right. I want to let the record show ahead of time so nobody's surprised by it. Firstly, I'm not good at games. We've established that plenty of times. But in addition to that, I don't do horror games. I'm just easily spooked. I do like horror movies though. We'll jam out of that. But I'm a spook. I'm a professional spooky spook. So what are we doing here today? Well, I was told that this is a nice easy one to break you into the genre. It's not really forgiving, but it's interesting. And you know what? I'll settle for interesting. So firstly, or secondly, welcome. How are you doing? Are you well? Are you unwell? Are you probably somewhere in the middle like most of us? Wherever you are, hope we can spring on to something better. Today we are playing Fears to Fathom, but episode 1 more specifically. I, I've been told this is actually based on real events that have happened to people, which makes it even scarier. Like, you know, if it's all fake, it's like, aha, it's just a prank, bro. But now it's like, nah, bro, that's a real life story. But we're just going to get into it. Um, there's several episodes, or two at the moment. Spoiler for the next video. <sighs> Why do I do this? Let's just, let's just jump in. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, I don't entirely know what to expect. Um, I'm just told that it's quite easy to just get into and quick to play which is nice probably I didn't want to put this up on reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction I don't even know where to start excuse my lack of good storytelling skills excuse my lack of narrating skills as well I guess I'll just start it was the middle of summer my parents had left for the weekend due to a work trip which meant I was all by myself for the weekend also I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Been there, bro. That is tough. Though I did plan on fixing that. Been there as well. Can safe to say I have course corrected that. I'm quite proud. Now I get up at five. Oh my gosh, they're long. Um, okay. Um, do I, how do I, uh, supposed to get up. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. Right. Evening naps are actually the biggest trap, to be honest with you. Is there a run? Shift. Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Respectfully, eh? I can feel that as well. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't work on an empty stomach. I'd I, I tap out. Oh, that's a nice house. Oh, I can read text. Okay, mom. Do 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 do. do. Oh gosh, that's too much text. Wait, when are you guys coming back? Dad and I are gonna be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it to them at the door before opening. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, mom. Dad and I may be back sun by Sunday evening. Hey, why are you so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. I'm a... Well, you're in grade 8. Your first year of high school. Not really anything, to be honest. Probably gonna order some pizza, yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Vibes, there's the food. Ooh, Mason, okay. Yo, yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, heard Josh coming too. What about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Weren't you gonna see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like, I don't even matter to her. Oh, gosh, whoa, okay, geez, I feel like, you know when you're not supposed to be reading something? But yeah, you are reading it. But it's me, so I can read my own messages. What's wrong? Oh, wait, wait, wait. you matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then you're energy. Wrong, you're damn it. I guess I'm energy then. How's Kim? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. Lost same. 
My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, I'll call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. Oh, bro. You're really gonna leave me in this house? Honestly, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Who are you? Oh, hell no. Hell no. I'm not here for it. Oh my, I'm gonna do what I always do when I'm home alone and I hear something sus at the door. I always crouch. It's actually, it, it's a, probably a bad habit, but you know, I'm very much a safe rather than sorry kind of guy. Woo! I'm like genuinely sweating. Cause you know when things are just like going too well, and you just, you just don't know what to expect. Okay. Yeet! Okay. I guess, uh... There's no microwave, so I'm... Conf oh, does it have to get cooked? Oh, uh, I need to warm it. Fair enough. Oh, nice. Uh, so let's save some power, you know. We're on a dying planet, after all. Save electricity, kids. And why is the music so creepy? Why? Okay. This is a door. Oh, nice. Okay. Damn, this is actually a really nice house. And I'm kind of concerned. Because, you know, there was just a guy skulking here. Or, well, I think it was a guy. It could have been a very buff woman. I liked watching TV while I ate. You know, I kind of walked into the lounge on instinct because that's kind of what I do as well. <laughs> like, I'll sit and watch something while I eat. That's just the norm. I feel like that's a modern era thing. So, you're just gonna... Oh, I have to eat. Of course. Oh. No, I close. No. Oh my God. Um. I'm I'm gonna read those texts, but I'm gonna close the door. F f oh my God. G Maybe I should have actually run outside, in hindsight, because you know. There's now someone in here with me. Okay. Um, we're going to have to call it off, man. Something came up, but you got to come to Jessica's tomorrow. Man, am I even going to see tomorrow? If tomorrow never comes, will Jessica know that I was light to her? Oh, music. Why you do that music? Music. Oh, my God. Oh my god. This was closed as well. I'm so I can't speak. Okay, music you calm down. Oh god no. Um throw the dishes there like I do in regular life. Okay. Um Oh, how can you think of doing a homework, bro? Are oh, you kidding? I'm, I'm too spooked to even speak. Oh my god. I couldn't focus because of the TV noise. So put in headphones or something. I don't know. Ooh. Is this how I die? Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, and now the music just does its 
does its thing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna, for some reason, turn the TV off. That's a little bit creepy, but okay. Oh my god. Just suss it out. Worst case scenario, it's what usually is. Nothing. You see? Nothing. Uh, shift. I don't know who decided that shift to run was the one, but it's really not. Or maybe I'm just terrible. No, no, no. You better get me in here. Mm -mm. I have my trusted tray with me. In fact, I'm going to keep this right there for protection's sake, of course. Whew, time to get some homework. Yeah. Man, chemistry is rough. Like, oh, okay. 12.38 a.m. Way past my regular bedtime. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Wait, damn, like four or five hours of work. I'm quite proud of myself, actually. Good job, me. Good job. So, uh, guess I... Okay. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get it. Oh, I... Sh I, I'm too nervous to read. <laughs> I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Polar this time. Mrs. Polar needs to stop snitching. That's what she needs to do. Mind your business. Respectfully, of course. Never insult the elders, but also, don't fight me. I'm so scared. I got up to get some water. Same, honestly. Actually, to be honest, water wakes me up. So I don't, I generally don't like drinking water at night um like if i need to focus then i'll i'll drink water for sure um but otherwise i don't okay i see miss polar stalking us do you hear that knocking you know i don't need water like water is overrated to be honest with you you know that's why i didn't even ask you do you want to get your water this episode <laughs> you know what Nothing in here can hurt me except for the literal thing that crept into my room. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's the window. Right, 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 of course. Just checking that that's actually still closed. Okay. Uh, trusted tray. I'm gonna leave you right there. And, uh, trusted water, that's you. Uh, I didn't know, I, I just didn't even know how to drink. Oh. Hey, yo. People that have just bottled water lying at home, they're just, they're just on a different level. They're in a different tax bracket. Go get your water from the tap like a regular person. Man, this is like an infinite bottle. I'm gonna just, uh... I'm gonna just, uh, you know what? You go on the floor, damn it. I ate the whole lasagna. Damn straight, I did. Okay, I'm too scared to check the lounge. So I'm just gonna assume that everything is good and that there's no reason to panic. Unless the music tells me there's something to panic about. Okay, and we're in our trusted room. And we're safe. Nice. Miss Paula, you, uh, you good there, ma'am? I actually, you know what? Why are you up this late, Miss Paula? What are you doing? Or Mrs. Paula, whatever you go by. <sighs> oh, okay. Miles, who's at the door? Are you there? Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, who is, who is at the door, mom? Who, uh, who do be there? Uh, I can't see anyone. Okay. Can I see them from the parents' bedroom? Am I going to die? No, I'm not going to die. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everyone knows there are two safe places in a house. 
your bedroom and your parents bedroom you see your parents bedroom is the most safe place so therefore this is a safe zone um, but it's not ideally positioned because I can't see in also that's really something you have to think about when you're building houses and windows like who can see into your property and what can you see I mean obviously the golden rule is that if you can see them they can see you but you know the principle it's the principle Hey, close that. Okay. And now that I know someone's here, I'm going to crouch. Paula sent me. She said she went through the window. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Fair enough. Okay. Um, we're going to do what we always do. Oh, God. Do you see him? He's just like standing there. What a creep. Uh... Okay. Oh. Hello, mother. Oh. Okay. Do you uh? Okay. I've. I'm. I'm half thinking like, should I just tell this guy to piss off? You know, like just like, fight him. Look at me. Look at you. Look at me, look at you. If I'm looking at you, that means you can't be in here. You see what I'm saying? Um, actually, you know what? You're upsetting me right now, bro. Who, who are you, actually? Where are you? Where are you? Oh! Okay. Mistakes were made. <laughs> okay. Note to self. Don't don't open the door. Don't open the door. <laughs> you know, if I had friends over, this whole experience would be less creepy. You know, we could be scared together, but no. My friends aren't real homies. No, they'd rather just not be with me. Paolo sent me. She said he's been creeping out the window. We're calling the cops. Your kid locks every door. Don't answer the door no matter what he does, okay? I guess I should have listened to mom that time. Woo! As I tried to peek through the blinds, he looked straight at me. Fair enough. Um, I felt my heart skip a beat. Weirdo. Weirdo. I'm going to go hide in my room. And if my room becomes compromised, for whatever reason, I'm going to hide in my parents' room. Can I hide? <gasps> Thank the Lord. Okay, so now if he comes, just don't make a sound. Whatever he does, just don't. Oh! This boy threw a brick through the window. <laughs> Do you know how inconvenient it is to actually... Oh. And then rings the doorbell at this hour. Do you know how inconvenient it is to actually replace a window? Like, yes, it might be form-fitted and then it's fine. But like, genuinely, if your window is like an odd shape, it's actually mad disrespectful and painful. This guy just said... Dee! That's Paul at the door. Mom, I'm... I'm not gonna lie, I have trust issues. I, I Jay don't think I want to move. Plus, I don't know if I trust Paula. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Mom, where'd you get this photo from? Paula sent me, because who is he? Do you hear? Do you hear? It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Talking mad nonsense. Oh, I'm a 14 year old. I can do what I want. Ooh, I'm a big, big boy. Oh, and as a 25 year old, I'm a big, big scared boy. You know what? Let's just go. If it's Paula at the door, that means there's a way around it to say. 
Nope, 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 hide, up, no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, there's no reason, why get up, why, for what purpose, if I can hide here, for the rest of eternity, I'm fine, listen, I'll hide under the bed, I'll meet a nice young woman, you know, We'll have nice little under the bed babies, and it's fine. Our whole life will be right here under this bed, haunted by this ghost. Ghost? Old man? Kind of look like an old man. <laughs> I'm <gonna love> it. <gasps> the cops are here. I'm ready. Um, I'm kind of just making sure that there's. Oh, there's cute music playing. Rail? Is that really the end? Hey! That's the thing about police. Nobody likes police until they need police. So respect to police. You know, I'm not even gonna test it. Just now he's actually in there again. You know. I don't wanna die. Oh no 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 no! Oh um that's that's Paula. Whew! They are that was kind of weird. It's like a short, it, I mean, obviously it's a short horror experience. It's what you sign up for, but it's, it does really well in not giving you like a way to fight. You know what I mean? Like I didn't pick up a weapon. I was already debating like, do I take like a, a lasagna dish and you this, you know? So it's, it's kind of got like that helplessness, almost a bit like amnesia um, on a very small scale of course um which is good because you know sometimes when you get powerful in a horror game then it's not really a horror game anymore um but yeah no i definitely capitalized on that feeling of <laughs> of being home alone and you hear a sound and you know nine out of ten times it's actually nothing and this is like the one percent it's actually something um so it's great no great experience um definitely with checking out for yourself and playing through there's another episode which i have downloaded and when my heart is stopped going doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, i'll give it a play probably so if you want to see that and you like this give this video a like um i appreciate it and thank you for more importantly just sticking around and hanging out it's it's really cool anyway until we meet again lovely people remember there's only one of you in this world and the world needs you to look after yourself and don't open for strangers. That's, that's a good lesson to learn from all of this stranger danger. Yes. <laughs> anyway, until we meet again, look after yourselves, lovely people. This is me signing out.